The ruling All Progressives Congress is warming up for its national convention slated for the 26th of March 2022 with plans to hold zonal congresses this Saturday 12th of March 2022. As part of activities to set the tone for the day, the Caretaker Extraordinary Convention Planning Committee of the All Progressives Congress APC released the zoning arrangement for the March 26th National Convention. APC in a statement issued on Wednesday by its Director of Publicity, Salisu Naina Dambata, zoned the National Chairman to the North Central, while the Southwest will produce the National Secretary. While the position of the Deputy National Chairman has been allocated to the Southeast Zone, the ruling party said the zoning arrangement was adopted at the March 8, 2022 regular meeting of the Caretaker Extraordinary Convention Planning Committee. As the party now sets for the zonal congresses as a warm-up to the party convention, Nigeria Today seeks to unravel some of the issues arising. Welcome to the program. I am Lydia Ochi. Thank you for joining us. With me in the studio to discuss the issues is an APC stalwart of Poco Ogeni. Thank you for joining us. Thank you very much. And we also have Mohamed Kelani, another APC stalwart, and he's joining us via Zoom from Kaduna. You're welcome to the program. Thank you very much. Can I say good evening to Nigerians? All right. Now, let me start with uh, Opoku again. The new development within the party that led to the emergence of uh, Governor Abaka Sanibelu of Niger State as an acting chairperson of the Caretaker and Extraordinary Convention Planning Committee, who is also a member of the 13-member committee, is a clear indication of internal tussle within the party. How would you react to this scenario? Thank you very much. Uh, I would like to let Nigerians understand the fact that as members of the Governing of Progressive Congress, we are very, very disturbed about the recent development in the party. I am the convener of Concerned APC Members Forum. We submitted a letter to Mr. President that became a guide to the entire convention process. Now, the Electoral Act is very explicit that the national chairman and the national secretary shall write to INEC and give, give it 21 day notice for convention. The Buni led Ketika Committee has already written a letter to INEC specifying the convention for 26th of March. Now, with the new twist of crisis in the party, I call it crisis because it is not even very clear because His Excellency, the Executive Governor of Niger State, made it clear that he is the acting caretaker chairman. And when he was asked about the position of the caretaker chairman, he said he doesn't know because the man is out for medicals. Now, if there is a change of leadership within the party, it therefore means there will be a change of signature, which will also require another fresh letter emanating from the party to INEC, which will take another 21 days. As we speak, the Catholics are already fasting for Easter, and uh, very soon the uh, Ramadan fast will also join. It therefore means that the convention of 26th of March is not feasible because the new leadership that will emerge will have to write INEC for 21 days. And we're talking about uh, March, April out of it because of Ramadan fast and Easter. It therefore means by May, June, you'll be talking about convention and we're talking about national uh, primary elections that is coming up for against the 2023 election. So the whole exercise is a calculated attempt by the Progressive Governors Forum to destroy the party. I don't know whatsoever is their interest. The, His Excellency Governor Bello is a member of the Ketika Committee. The same way Buni is a member of the Ketika Committee. They keep meeting and meeting. We have been agitating as concerned APC members forum for this convention. We started this process 
when Adam Soshomole was removed, we led the protest, and uh, on the on, on on June, we also from that June on November 2020, we also continue with the agitation that the Bonin led Ketika Committee has not initiated any process of convention. The governors were very comfortable with it. By this, by the same November, they had moved to see the president converge a neck and the tenure was officially extended for another six years. And the neck vested its power on the Ketika Committee to have the full powers to exist and operate just like the normal working committee of the party. So today, uh, you say Buni is no longer chairman. Buni has not come back for us to know that he's chairman or not. Two, there must be a convocation of neck. The constitution also says that, of the party says that, the national chairman is the one to, conv to write notice of neck. Not members of the critical committees are all signing to say you are convoking neck. So at the end of the day, there will be constitutional crisis in the party. So we may not even have a party to, to hold on to in the first place. So the whole process that as we talk about, the APC leadership is a very big crisis, not only the party, but to Nigerians. We have okay. actually become a laughing stock at this moment because the convention of March 26, the way they are going about it will not be feasible. Okay, now, let me get uh, reactions from Mohamed Keilani. With this leadership Tosol is talking about in the party at the moment, do you think if at all the Zonal Congress is hold, will they retain their earlier committees appointed for the Zonal Congresses? Uh, you see, uh, the die is cast. What my colleague is saying there will not hold water. The governor of the United States, the Malabuni, was given the opportunity by Mr. President to lead the party for progress and prosperity. They gave him six months. He couldn't perform. Another two months, uh, six months, no results. We are now two years. And people have been saying that uh, they are not optimistic, they are pessimistic about what the governor and his colleagues were doing. And Mr. President wants this convention to take place because there is kind of friend for the primaries. So I think the president has done the right thing by removing his uh, Mr. Miamala Buni, who has been the chair, uh, I think, uh, chairman, uh, National Planning Committee extraordinary. The only thing we want, if we really care for this party, it is we must not be selfish. We must have to do something to concretize the party. Let us all you know, abandon our interests and make sure that we focus on how the party will win election 2023. But let me say something that uh, I will re reiterate what Mr. my colleague over there said. Well, if we are really serious, within one month, the party, the party can perform and deliver. Let us all leave our interests aside. Let us talk about the party. Now, the Malabuni you are calling on him. He should come and join us with uh, the governor of Nepal State. So that, because two days ago, what may Malabuni fail to do? Some chairman nationwide were elected, and uh, this man, all the time, he will say he will not play them. He didn't do that. But it was done two days ago. Okay, uh, Ogeni, you heard him. He had his own uh, reactions to what you, 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 you talked about earlier. Now, let me ask you this. Some people have raised so much agitation over the provision for the zonal congresses in the APC constitution. And another faction argued that there is provision for zonal congresses in the re-amended APC constitution 2014 as amended. 
that is now waiting for ratification during the convention. Now, how do we now place this development? Thank you very much. You just made mention of waiting for ratification during the convention. Until it is the constitution is being ratified, mm -hmm. it is not yet a constitution. To be very realistic, the progressive governors were able to convince and coerce we members of the party to believe that there will be a zona congress. Remember, this zona congress was slated for February 26th. Then the national convention, March 26th. Just as I said earlier, it is the governors, they are the ones playing with the intelligence of Nigerians, especially we members of APC, to make us believe that they have the interest of the party at heart. I want to say this. There is nothing like zonal Congress, our Congresses, as far as the APC Constitution is concerned. They are all national officers, even though at the zone. There is even a provision. If you check the zoning list, the first one that was signed by Mr. President on the 25th of February, and the second one that was uh, also signed by the technical committee on the 8th of March, both of them had already zoned positions, including the zonal offices, have been zoned all together to it. So it therefore shows that we have no special zonal zoning congress. So now, I want to say something. The governors, the progressive governors, are aware of exactly what is going on. I even believe that Erufai, Governor Erufai is working closely with uh, His Excellency Governor Mimalabuni. They all know what they are doing. They don't want this convention to take place. Because individually, the governors have either presidential ambition or vice presidential ambitions. And with these ambitions, they are trying to hold on to, to be sure that a sitting governor is also the acting or the critical chairman of the party until the primary elections are conducted so they can secure the various offices that they seek to secure for themselves. This is an intrigue. It's an intrigue just to maintain the party structure within the, go the rank of the Nigeria gov uh, Progressive Governors Forum. How okay. are you talking about uh, a zonal congress when it is not in the constitution? You are talking about uh, a congress that is not a constitution that has not been ratified. There are a lot of suggestions an amendment proposal to the APC convention, uh, constitution that are waiting to be ratified. Okay. Now, let me ask uh, Dr. Keilani. Are there moves to unite the party? Because obviously there's a need to, to unite the party before the forthcoming major events. Are there moves in that direction? Come again, please. I said, are there any moves to unite the party? before the forthcoming major events. Oh, that's what is happening now. Uh, I, I concur with what he's saying. I know it's agreed. All of us agree. You know, even the Congresses that took place before, okay, I don't in the state this. and the local government, people are still crying. But what we need to do we should not forget the PDP is watching, all our other all parties are watching. And we want to establish government more than 16 years goes willing as PDP did in this country. So all we need to do, as I said earlier, we are also agreed that like from for, for me, Kaduna said, we brought in uh, five that is mentioned in 2015 and 2019. But many of these governors, they, they are not going along with the with the with the politicians. So my, my candid opinion is that we must come together despite our differences. We disagree to agree so that we can move this party forward. What we tell them, uh, the governor of Niger State now being the caretaker committee, we are thanking the Balabuni for what he has done. Now we have a new caretaker chairman. Whether the governors want to keep him there, we, the stakeholders, are watching. And uh, let us have, let, let, let them bring out the, the processes okay. of the zonal elections. And they should bring out all the subcommittees okay. for the national 
convention of the 26th of March. Okay, let me let me in, uh, come in here. We'll, we'll take a break and, and uh, continue with the issues. Let's go on a break. This is NTA News 24, broadcasting from Abuja. You can watch us anywhere, anytime, on the following platforms. Start times, channel 101, Greek TV, channel 703, GSTV, channel 419, and Go TV, channel 46. For more information, log on to our website, www.nta.ng, or join us on our social media handles, Facebook at NTA News 24. For comments, suggestions and inquiries, send an email to news24 at nta.gov.ng or call us on the following numbers. NTA News 24. News and more news. Welcome back. We've been talking about the APC Zonal Congresses and I still have with me in the studio Okpoko Ogeni, an APC stalwart, and also via Zoom, I have Mohammed, Dr. Mohamed Keilani uh, joining us. Now, uh, 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 Ogeni, what are the issues the party should be looking at before the national convention? Yes, the party, as we speak, is supposed to be looking at the possibilities of holding the convention. One, there is a, a court injunction trending recently against the convention. We have not heard anything like a process of trying to vacate the injunction to enable us to hold a successful convention. And two, if we must hold the convention as it is, I believe that the Progressive Governors Forum, who are colleagues of the caretaker chairman, either are going or suspended or something, uh, that's me, Malabuni. He would have equally prevailed on him, even on head ground, to enable him to continue to remain in Dubai. Why Governor Sani Bello continue to act as acting Keteka chairman, which will no longer require the change of signature for to INEC before the convention, but rather after appointing the Keteka, uh, the acting Keteka chairman. Mm -hmm. They also went ahead to announce it that the chairman has been removed. Then the acting chairman will say it's acting chairman. Uh, yesterday, a governor was on the sister uh, media station. I was saying that the man has gone, he's not coming back. We also heard the rumor the man is coming back. Now there is a new trending. He's coming with about 10,000, a bit 10 million members of the party to march to the secretariat on Monday, which is a clear case of anarchy. We are talking about reconciliation. We are still in the process of reconciling members. The fallout of the state congresses. We have not been able to achieve it yet. And we are adding more crisis. I am telling you that if the progressive governors truly want this convention to hold in, on the 26th of this month, as it's stipulated, so they should be able to convince their colleague to remain in Dubai receiving his medical attention, then his signature remained with INEC as the caretaker chairman, while the acting chairman is performing the duty, and hold the convention. If not, the, the whole exercise will be an effort in futility. Okay, now let me go to Dr. Kelani. As a party stalwart, what are your anti anticipations for the forthcoming convention of the party? What I'm anticipating is that there must be plain uh, level ground for all contestants. The way Amana, uh, governor of Kaduna State, you know, delivered one interview at the channels, was it today or yesterday, that uh, Mr. President has given them the prerogative to make sure that this convention is held without any problem. But we don't want imposition because the news that I'm making around is that the Adamu Abdullah, the, uh, the senator, was here marked by the president to, to have a consensus that day. From our own cursory look that we took around the country, members of APC 
and Nigerians are not happy with that. All we want, if we want to concretize our democratic system in this country, there must be internet democracy. So we are calling on the Mr. President to be very cautious of who might have told him that he should impose somebody. There are many people who are very versatile, who are very who have the merit, very versatile people who can deliver. And those people are there. So for me, I know we are politicians right from 60s. And uh, we have seen how MPN did it and other parties. All we are saying now, we should drop our interest so that on the 26th, we will hold a, uh, a convention that all and sundry will be happy with. Okay. He's talking about Mbala uh, Boni has written to INE. We can ratify that. This is Nigeria, and Nigeria is all for us. All we need to do, I am also agree there as Mr. Gay is, and many other people, but let's save the party. This is why, what I'm saying now. And uh, I believe on the 26th, the writing will be done, where everything will be opened. Let the stakeholders come, contest, and get somebody who will move the party. Then we'll go for the primaries and select or elect the president that will come and take over mantle of leadership okay. in 2023. All, right. all, these, all these issues, yes, many people are not happy. Mm. But Mr. Gay, let us come together and form a formidable force to make where corrections, because I learned there will be a reconciliation committee okay. that no. will table all the issues that are now emanating from all the states, including the federal capital, we must di disagree to agree. Yeah, definitely. If, definitely. Is, you see, over 1,700, you know, uh, members were being put in a, sub, uh, a committee by the former secretary, according to Erufai. That is not good for all. That is more than half of what, according to what he said, uh, Eagle Square. Okay. Now, so, let me ask uh, Ogeni. This is not particularly about the APC now, but Nigeria's political culture. How healthy is this zoning culture to our political process? Yes. Uh, uh, considering the population of Nigerians and the activeness of almost all Nigerians of uh, 80 years and above are politicians, including the civil servants uh, now. Now, the zoning is the way of minimizing rancor within the party. Zoning of party offices also will be able to streamline some contestants and uh, some expenditures and the uh, process of reconciliation after convention. I want to quickly say that it is better for us to have a consensus candidate. My colleague and other members should be talking about having a vibrant person, an agile person, a native person that will be able to move the party forward. Somebody with experience, not talking about election, because the situation where we are now, if you allow the election to take place in the convention, there will be more crisis. It is also good that Mr. President recommends somebody, but look at the, the record of the person that the person is clean, the person is active and agile, and will be able to discharge the duty of a national chairman of a, a ruling party like uh, the, that of the APC. It is fine. Anything short of that, they will, it will be more problem upon problem. Look at what happened in Rivers. Look at what happened in Zafara. Look at what is happening all over now. So it will come to pass that at the end of the day, if we are not cautious and guided, we may end up not be able to have candidates in the 2019, uh, 2023 elections. That is where my position is. Definitely, we pray that at the end of the day, like he said, united we stand, divided we fall. There's a need to come together and unite, agree, so that we can move forward politically.
The program has been Nigeria Today, and we've been talking about the APC Zonal Congresses. We thank you for being a part of uh, this conversation, our viewers. And I have been in conversation with two APC stalwarts here in, this, here in the studio, Okpoko Ogeni, and also joining us via Zoom, Dr. Mohamed Keilani, and also an APC stalwart. Thank you so much for sharing your thoughts with us. Thank you for your but presence. But you have not given me time to reply to Mr. Gain. Mr. Gain, that consensus candidate cannot hold water. <laughs> what people are now saying is El Mapura. He has experience with CPC, APC, uh, ACN has done it more than three times. We now, the CPC, want also to do it. All he right. <laughs> and he, he was the one who supported the party. Okay, all right. Dr. Kelaide, we actually run out of, we are actually out of time now. So thank you for your contribution. So we've heard you, you've been heard, Nigerians have heard you. And our viewers want to thank you for being part of the program. Remember, you can still watch this episode and other ones on www.youtube.com slash ntnews 24 Hub. We're glad for your presence. Have a wonderful evening. I am Lydia Ochi. Goodbye.